Welcome to another Figuring Out Japan video and in this video we're going to be looking at the Beckett Dragon Ball Z Collector issue 21 August 2002. Uh, watch my introduction video if you are not familiar with Beckett, Ball, Beckett Dragon Ball Z Collector uh, but if you remember these I'm sure you will remember them uh, very fondly or with nostalgia. Let me know in the comments what you think of them. Uh, I did already make a video for the September 2002 issue and I have to say looking through it as an adult it's uh, nowhere near as good as I remember it as a child. It's one of those things that you just kind of best to leave in your uh, you know in your memory and, and not touch it but um, I love that cover that really is a sick cover and I always liked the uh, signatures so this th these covers were done by a guy called Jeff Amano and uh, you can see he's got the A, the M, the A, the N. Uh, I think that's a very clever little signature. But um, I'll try and get through this fairly quickly so the video is not too long. But um, there's some Irwin, Irwin figures. Uh, I actually don't think I had any. I actually had most, a lot of the Irwin toy figures, but I don't think I had any of those particular characters, although I did find the Pui Pui in Japan, and I now have that in my collection. Uh, so this is again written by the assistant editor. I do wonder why the uh, the editor does not write it up, but there you go. Doug Kale, I think it says the editor is. I do apologize if the scans are not clear and um, you're not able to, to read them. But uh, there's Master Roshi's trivia. Uh, you can pause the video if you like and uh, and read through them. The um, the good, the bad, and the circuitry. Right. Okay. So a lot of these are recurring articles, I guess. Master Roshi's trivia, and then that. So this here, they're covering the GT the GT Dragons which just kind of look like screenshots from the TV series that's quite funny yeah it's quite interesting <laughs> um, yeah most people of course will remember the Omega Shenron which is the one star isn't he yeah The Hero Lives, Hero Collection Series 4 Part 1. Jeez, a lot of ads. Every second page of ads. <laughs> um, so I think these are covering the the cards. But these look like the... Yeah, it says Hero Collection. These look like the, uh, the Japanese cards. Surprised they're covering that in... An American magazine. Were these cards ever available outside of Japan? I didn't think they were, but maybe they were. Interesting. And there's even film cards. Wow, okay. Learn something new every day. Uh, Irwin Series 9 action figures. Yeah, so I had I have the Boo. Still have it. And the Barbity I have. And as I mentioned, I now have the Pui Pui. So are they reviewing them here? This seems to be the least inspired figure in Series 9. The sculpting is subtly different than the Bandai one. However, they're similar enough that it almost looks like a repaint. Uh, okay, so yeah. Yeah, so it's just a review, basically. Um... Oh, that's a good point. So the same with Barbadie, the cocoon should have been a, a lot bigger, obviously. But if they wanted something that size, they could have used his crystal ball. That's actually a fair comment, I think. Uh, what do they say about Hercule? I, I always hated Hercule. I found, I found him so annoying in the Cell Saga, and just ever since then, I, <laughs> I hated him. But that's actually a pretty cool figure. I do have one of the Banpresto uh, S. Cultures figure of Hercule, or Mr. Satan. And uh, it's a really cool sculpt. Um, yeah, so they like the Pui Pui one. 
What's the deal with Krillin? The drawstrings on his pants and other details are molded in rather than just painted on, so I guess that's a good thing. And the articulation on little figures. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so overall they're pretty complimentary. I mean, Erwin towards the end were really good, I think. They got up to Series 11. Dragon Ball Z video games. The Legacy of Goku. One, I think this is one of the first Dragon Ball Z games released in the West. I never played it. Just so you know. I never had a Game Boy Advance. I had a Game Boy Pocket. And I had a 3DS, but I never had an Advance. Let me know if you've played this game. <laughs> And if it's any good, well, they covered it pretty thoroughly. Oh, wow, you can go to Planet Nami. Saiyan Saga? Is that Saiyan Saga? Looks like it. I mean, you got to put it in context of this was early 2000s, so that would have been a pretty sick game. The Who's Who Guide to Characters. Yeah, I suppose that's a very, like, Beckett-esque... Um, yeah. This was sort of the days before the internet was really... You know, what I mean, most people I think had the internet by this stage, but yeah, the days of just hey, go to Wikipedia or go to YouTube or anything like that, they, they this was a different time. Now, I was actually reading um, some comments online, people saying that the images were really bad and you couldn't tell what was just a screenshot from the anime, what was fan art. Um, and I thought, gee, that's a bit harsh. But looking looking through, I actually see what they mean. Because some of these figures, sorry, some of these images, like Android 17 or 18, look really good. And then you look at other ones like Bardock, or Berta, or Bulma, or even Barbady, like all these four. I mean, are they, are they fan art? They're pretty poor quality photos, aren't they? So, yeah, that's an interesting one. <laughs> That's it's probably a fair comment. Like PyCon, that's clearly just a screenshot from the from the anime. I mean, look at Raccoon. What the heck? <laughs> wow, was it that bad? Look at Tien. That's gotta be fan art. I see. That's I know. That's a common. Like most of these are common. You know images used marketing images from dragon ball z but yeah some of them are shocking saying men in black what's this yes yeah, everything was male you just got it to mail. oh that's right yeah beckett's in dallas yeah ah uh, uh video vault good old days of vhs huh let me know if you had any of the vhs i didn't I had the DVDs though. Had the whole series on DVD. Uh, so now they're talking about the C C G collectible card game. Not T C G. What's T T C G? Tradable card game is it? A C C G collectible card game. I think that's what that stands for. Yeah, I've never been a hardcore. Uh, card collector so there are some of the prior issues of Beckett so then we have the price guide which uh, I realized based off the last one I looked at is about a third of the the magazine so yeah they cover all of the um, the figures so cards and you've got toys action figures all the action figures I have actually seen that figure in a shop in Japan I nearly bought it so it's an AB uh, okay yeah I don't remember how much it was I don't think it was cheap but I don't think it was crazy expensive either but um, I thought well it's not really something I want for my collection Uh, yeah, okay, then you got the art gallery, the fan art. Uh, what's this? Dragon Ball Z Online Talks Movies. Web Findings, Google. 
I started looking up the terms Dragon Ball and Monkey Boy together in the Google search engine. In brackets, www.google.com. <laughs> that is such a sign of the times, you know? Because Google was not, like, mainstream back then. You know, people used other search engines, like Yahoo. I think Yahoo was the the main one back then. GeoCities. A lot of people in Japan still use Yahoo, fun fact. And a lot of people still have, they, they don't use Gmail, they use Yahoo. It still reigns supreme. Uh, so this is just some shameless... PR, I think, for Beckett, trying to sell. Oh, so they actually, yeah, okay, so you can actually buy stuff. So they had their own store, by the looks of it. Mm. Go to page 72 and order now. Mm. There you go. There you go. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments of the Beckett Dragon Ball Z Collector August 2002 issue. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.